see if we can shed a little more light on the situation. How's that? It's uh, 10 after 4 and head in. Uh, I'm going to go back into where we was at yesterday since we was on some turkeys. And the only um, very important um, change is now we can shoot into the field. Uh, after coming out yesterday, I did a little riding around. Caught a farmer out uh, letting his tractor warm up out there. And uh, stopped and said, hey, hunting the backside, hunting on the public. Turkeys flying down in the fields, walking the field ditch. He said it was more than welcome to shoot out there. As a matter of fact, it was more along the lines of, um, I can't repeat it verbatim, but it was more like, kill all of them, kill 20 of them. When you kill that one, go buy you 19 more tags and kill 19 more of them. Some, some, one of those, one of those folks. So, needless to say, we now can shoot out into the edge of that field. So if them turkeys do the same thing they did yesterday or anything remotely close, we should be in the chips. So it's starting to break a little bit. Um, so we're fixing to hustle in and uh, get around there on that side of the field and keep your fingers crossed that they somewhere close doing something same something similar. Let's go do it. We're just about to the back of the field where we spent so much time yesterday. I'm trying to figure out I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of sell out go ahead and loop around the side of the field and get down there on the on that lower side that the turkey spent so much time at yesterday a couple turkeys gobbling the hens already going crazy It's been way too much time I just can't do it. I'll end up having a belly crawl and everything else to get back to that spot right there, but we're fixing to dive in here because I can't stand being this far away from the action. The turkeys are down here gobbling, but their hands were somewhere right here. Goblin. 
hours of gone silent, probably flown down. Got, I, can't, I don't know how many hands right here beside me, but it's a few. did not go when they hit the ground. I think they gobbled one time. But they took the route to a T where I thought they'd be.
side up here because you can see the good woods are right. Seems like a strip of good timber that runs the edge of these fields. Leave it to me to go get permission to shoot into the fields and then kill the turkey in the public timber. But the hens flew down right here at like 50. That's what we did. We were way back yonder. Where we watched them in the field all day yesterday was probably 300 that way. just peeked through it's gonna be a sunny day and man I swear I was the first place it hit but I have the leafy around the camera and all kind of stuff so I did what I could the turkeys gobbled like villains off the limb just like yesterday He's done. I'm letting the other gobbler not try not to freak him out too bad. <clears throat> but where we laid eyes on yesterday and watched them and had that whole ordeal yesterday was fields about 300 that way. This big steep ravine, thick. Edges right against the field in some places, not all the places, but in some places it's nice. You just kind of got to pick and choose your way through all this thick crap and find those little open spots. But, anyways, came in here, got to where we saw him spend so much time yesterday, and they started gobbling down here, kind of the same place he was yesterday. So I was like, I can't sit up here at this field. Now, granted, if I did, that's exactly where the hens flew down, headed straight that way. That's where they were going, and I'm sure we would have. We would have, you know, met up with them down there, but I just, I can't do it. Not to mention, I was like, you know what, I might be able to catch them turkeys in the timber. I'd much rather catch them in the timber than have to do the maneuver and ordeal around those field edges. But anyway. I sat up here. I started to sit back there where it was nice and pretty. Beautiful spot, clean. I thought, man, this place killed turkey, but... Saw this field over my shoulder. Thought, oh, man, if them turkeys follow that pitch down into that field and we'll get out, I'll be up a creek at back here. So I kind of got split the difference. So if they walk the field, the top of that thing's 50. So I thought, if they on top or my side, I'll be able to kill them. But I just kept looking right here at these clean woods that follow the edge. And I'm thinking, you know what? It makes sense for them turkeys just to follow, just walk those clean woods all the way around. And I sat here and sat here hens I yelped to the hens as soon as I yelped to the hens they pitched across the canyon to me tree hopped tree hopped right here to me got in the trees and then flew down right here at about anywhere from 40 to 50 they hit the ground went quiet the hens eased off toward the field I give them one call and they gobbled. I said, I think they're on the ground on the edge of this thing right where they should be. I waited a handful of minutes and called again and nothing. Just like yesterday, the turkeys did not gobble on the ground until much later in the morning. So I just stayed steady and just tried to be patient and tried to be, keep my eyes peeled. Sure enough, I caught their heads coming right where they were supposed to. I mean, right where they were supposed to. It's nice to be right. I'm gonna go down there and pick him up. I hope that ain't a dang old cliff right there where he's at. This place is bad about cliffs. <laughs> and then, as 
similar to one I about lost it for last year. Y'all can see Take on Cliff and he fell right there. Thank you, buddy, for doing me that favor. That's a heavy rascal, Lord have mercy. That is a heavy turkey. <clears throat> mm. Man, that's a heavy turkey. Golly. Man, I might have to go buy a dang scale. I ain't weighed a turkey all year, I don't think. But that one is heavy, Lord have mercy. Get him up here. <sighs> mm. A familiar sniff at this point in the season, but when we continue to enjoy it's as good last time as it was the first mm, one more sniff of Wisconsin mm, 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 mm. that's fine there that's fine smell of bacon in the morning like that breakfast smell but this beats it this is better than bacon yes sir oh it's gonna be a fine little spot for a cigar just fine This will work here. Whew, sun just coming through. What a day. What a day. Came in here yesterday on these turkeys. I heard him. Got straight across this canyon from him. He was gobbling. He hit the ground, went silent for a minute, but then I got him to hit it five or six times. It was either him or another turkey an hour later pitched across this canyon. But in the end, everybody ended up in a field over yon way. And I can't shoot into the field or I couldn't shoot into the field. So I played Mission Impossible, which was trying to get turkeys to come out of a plowed, planted field into a multi-floral rose thicket, which did not work out in my favor. So when I came out yesterday, stayed in here till about 2 o'clock, I think, yesterday. When I um, came out, drove around. I was going to knock on the door and end up finding a guy on the tractor. That other turkey that was gobbling in the distance. He's coming over the top now. But anyway. So this morning I went down there to the field, set up shop. They started gobbling kind of in the same place they were yesterday. And I hen started yakking with them, and I thought, I just can't make myself sit out here on this field edge, which I know it'll probably work. They'll probably come right back here. Everything probably work out the same just that. I just couldn't make myself sit there with them gobbling, and they were four or five hundred yards away. So I came up to the top, made a round, and kind of got between them and the hens who were still making a racket. Dropped down here, juggled being able to shoot in the field and this nice clean little top here and uh, 
Hens pitched down 50 yards from me. They tree hopped to me, then pitched down right with me. And I just had an idea, I just had a feeling that this clean top right here led all the way to them. And that they'd take that clean top back. And they did. Hmm. It don't work out perfect all the time, but every now and then it will. And today, it did. Just playing that game, just... Mm. I just knew they were going to take this top. Them jokers clammed up, they hit the ground and clammed up, and I thought, I just got to be patient, got to be... Don't let them slip by you. Basically, keep your eyes peeled. Don't start dozing off and, you know... Don't let the exhaustion and the... And the Length of the season, get the best of you here. Like, stay on your game. Stay on, stay on your game. And uh, I called them as soon as they come into view. I caught one of them old heads. I said, there they are. They were just saw the old beard swing out. I said, yep, that's the that's the ones we're looking for. And they were all business, no strutting, no nothing, just all pure, pure business. Just walking through there catching up with those hens. I'm sure they'd catch up with them hens out in the edge of the field like they did yesterday. They'd start strutting and doing their thing, but until they put their thumb on them, they were all business. I'm going to enjoy myself. Some of the finer things in life. Sitting behind a big old studly gobbler. Listening to another coming over the hilltop here. Some robins above me are aggravated at something. It's all spring. And if this is the last one of these for 2022, it's been a been a been a good one. You ain't gonna hear me complain. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.